yes, who yes. in the 1930s <laughs> showed that a star could only sustain itself up to about 1.4 times the mass of the sun. So now imagine this. You have the, a white dwarf star. It's sitting there. It's it's less massive than this Chandrasekhar limit. Maybe it's in the mass of our sun. And mining but, its own business at this yeah, point. It's, yeah. it's doing nothing. And it would be happy that way. It would just cool off and live its whole life that way, cooling, cooling, radiating. But what if it has a friend, and you know, with friends like these, who needs enemies? These are <laughs> a star orbiting that star, and they get too close, we think, and mm -hmm. mass starts to transfer over, we think, and the details of exactly how this occurs are debated, but somehow- How the mass transfers is exactly, not clear. Exactly, mm -hmm. whether it's like they actually mm -hmm. merged or it was a gradual process. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so somehow mass transfers over, and when it reaches that Chandrasekhar limit, it's like, boom, a thermonuclear explosion runs through the star, okay? Mm -hmm. And what's so great about this is they always blow up at just about that same mass, very close to that. So this is a standard candle. This is something you yeah. you recognize it far away. And how do we recognize it? It has a certain spectrum. It has a certain chemical 